Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to start a massive new project. <laughs> this is my intro for the Throwback 30 Project Pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies Cloud project and it was created by Jessica. So the reason why she originally created this project is because she wanted to bring back a bunch of older projects that were created in the Pantastic Ladies Collab Facebook group, but there were so many. So she just decided to combine them in one giant project. <laughs> and this project has been going on for a couple of years. Now I did it the first year, which was in 2019, and I like, half-assed did it last year. I started it really late and I'm still kind of like doing it on the side. I'm not really like posting any updates on it. I'm just using some of the stuff. I just, I updated it so late because of COVID and everything. I just, you know, I was like, you know what? I'll just use the stuff on my own and make some progress on it. So, I mean, I started in like October. <laughs> And I was like, I'll just go through October of next year. I'm just using them when I use them. But I did want to really do it this year because I really enjoyed it whenever I did it in 2019. So anyway, this is a year long project and it goes from July 28th this year until July 28th next year. And the way this project works is Jessica has pulled together 30 projects that were projects that were created and done in the Fantastic Ladies Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. And we pick one product for each of those projects. They're kind of like prompts. So this is gonna take some time for me to go through. So I'm gonna get to it because we're gonna be here for a little while. And I have two, two of my prompts were like picking live because I thought that would be the most fun. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to Go through this kind of quick. I have my iPad right here so I can see the prompts and what I have for them because there's a lot of stuff here. Here we go. There's a mix of skincare and makeup here and I have a little bin to the side that I'm going to toss everything into. <laughs> so the first project was 12 Dates of Christmas and that was where you pick a product for the song 12 Days of Christmas. And I picked three French hens and I picked a French product. And that is the Caudalie Overnight Detox Oil. So I have had this open for a while and I want to finish it. I love this product. I actually have a backup of it and I wanna use it up. So it's just, you can see, I, I need to mark this where I am. So I will do that whenever I, before I put these products, products away. But this is a great oil, so. I want to finish that. Next item is for the project 50 Shades of Panning. And I think we can all kind of figure out what that was for. And the product I chose for that was the Bath and Body Works Shower Gel in Sensual Amber. Mm hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I love this stuff. This scent is glorious. So the scent notes for this are golden amber, wild berries, orange flower, lotus petals, and creamy sandalwood. It is so good. There was one point in time where this was the only scent that I would ever buy from Bath and Body Works. I know I was a crazy person, but it's freaking amazing. So yes, I have several of these that are kind of older. This may be from 2016. So I need to get through this. Yeah. Next project was 50 Shades of Pink. So for that, I chose my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. And I do have a line on this. This is the, this is the product. But as you can see, I'm lower than where that line is because this has been in a project before. So I need to remark this. It's, we can see all my lines. <laughs> I have so many lines on this. I need to remark this, but I do love this mask. It's just taking me forever to use it up. I don't have very much left. And to be honest, this is more of a summer mask for me. I don't really like this in the winter. So I need to be using it now and then I'll be using it again. If I don't finish it this summer, I'll be using it next summer. I want to finish it this summer. 
So that is the goal. I want to try to finish it before the end of the summer. I mean, I can probably use it through like September. So that is the goal. I want to finish that up. The next project is the seven deadly pans. And that project was around like the seven deadly sins. And you could pick uh, products around like the different colors or the specific seven deadly sins, like the name or whatever. I chose sloth and the color for that was blue. So I chose this like no name blue tansy oil that I have. I don't even know the name of the company that made this. It just came, I think in a subscription box like this. It smells good. It does. Yeah. But I want to use this up. So I don't know how I'm going to use it, but I want to use it. Like I kept it because I loved, I love blue tansy. So I'm going to use it. The next project was around the world and that's for prompts for different countries and you could choose items that were made in different countries. So I chose the country Italy and for that I chose the Kiko Milano shiny lip stylo and these have like I remember whenever I was hauling some of the stuff I I don't even think I've posted the video yet because those videos took me forever to edit and I'm far behind in editing those anyway but whenever I was editing them I was like those are not the names because they don't put the names on the bottom of these products it's very frustrating anyway the name of this I think the name of this product is renaissance culture I think it's renaissance culture it's number 02 anyway here's the product <laughs> Kiko why are you messing with me? It's just a, a, you know, one of those balmy, nice balmy products. I'm really into those. So I want to use a quarter of this typical way I like to use those products. Next project is Beauty A to Z. And for that, I chose the letter N for the Neutrogena Lip Moisturizer. I love this lip moisturizer. It's my favorite chapstick. I will always have backups of this in my collection. It's the best chapstick ever it's spf 15 glorious i want to use this up love it the next project is birthstone beauty and for that i chose sapphire i don't that's not my birthstone but i chose sapphire and for that i have the laneige water sleeping mask this is just a little mini and it's because i have a full size of this so i want to get this little mini out of my collection so finish this little guy up the next project prompt is Budget Beauty. So for that, I chose a favorite. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon and Stay Exceptional. So it's this little crayon and there's the shade. I cannot wait to use this. Oh. Yes, ma'am. So yeah, we can, we can definitely measure this. It's a very long product. So I'm going to try to use a quarter. I guess we'll just go with what I usually do. A quarter of this. I'm so excited. Next one is Cupid's bow. And this was pick an item that reminds you of Valentine's day. Huh. And I chose the Charlotte Tilbury cheek to chic blush and sex on fire. So here's the blush. So not only is the name of the product Sex on Fire, but it looks like a booby. <laughs> oh. So pretty. So there's the blush. And um, I haven't even decided what I want my progress to be on this. I want to use this. 30 times. Yeah, 30 times. I think 30 times will be good for a year long project. So do more? No, 30 is plenty. Probably won't even see a dent. Next project prompt. I like that. Next project prompt is drop 10 before summer. And so for that, I chose the Bath and Body Works body cream in Waikiki Beach coconut. So it is this item here. And the scent notes for this are beach coconut, pink passion flower, saltwater breeze, fresh bamboo, and sun bleached woods. So very, very summery. And 
Ugh. Yummy. Oh, delicious. Yes, that's so, so summery. Delicious. The next project prompt is fall for you. The original project was products that you love. So the product that I picked for that was the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lipstick in Spiced Petal. So it is this lip product here and here is the shade. So I'm trying to pull more of my non higher end lip products into projects because I pull all my higher end products, lip products into my lip service project. So I'm trying to pull in my more like drugstore products into these types of projects. So that is Spice Petal. Mm, so pretty. Quarter of the bullet for that one as well. Our next project prompt is food for thought. And this was item that reminded you of food. So I chose another Bath and Body Works item. This is the shower gel in strawberry pound cake. I mean, yeah, that's just all about food. And I don't really have a lot of like foodie type bath and bo or body products. This is one of the few. And I can't remember if I purchased this during like a semi-annual sale or if I got it as a freebie because I don't usually buy stuff like this but I have it so I was like let me use it I don't even, I don't even think I have a shower gel that goes with it so anyway I want to use that up the next project prompt was Harry Potter and the pan of fire and the this particular project was based on Quidditch in your favorite house so I chose I think for this I chose it could either be Gryffindor or the Quaffle in Quidditch, I think it's Quaffle. But let's just go with Gryffindor because we can go with the scarlet color. And for that, I chose these sheet masks that I got when I was in Japan. They're Lulu Lun Precious Red sheet masks. And they're like a huge pack in here. I think there's 30 in this box. And it's almost like a daily face mask, sheet mask. And I wanna use these. I've had these for a couple of years. They need to be used. So I'm gonna use those, get them out of my collection. This next project prompt is in the panning zone and this was all about the twilight zone and he picked a product for episodes. So I chose the episode, the 16 millimeter shrine, a and for that you chose a deluxe sized item. So I chose the Sunday Riley Luna Retinol Sleeping Night Oil. And I have this little baby sample. So I want to use that up. The next project prompt is lip service. And for that, I chose another not high-end product. I chose the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Last Call. This is the creme version. Like it's, you can't, it doesn't even have writing on it anymore. So here's the shade and there is the color. Yeah, so here is how much I have left of this. And so I want, I think for this, let's clean that up cause that's gross. I think I'm gonna use half of this cause there really isn't that much left. So let's say half of this one of last call. The next project prompt is Mean Girl Quotes. This project was so funny. And the quote that I chose was, I saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and flip flops. So I bought army pants and flip flops. And the prompt for this was something you bought because of someone else. So I chose this product because of Kathleen Lights. This is the J-Cat Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse. So it's this product here. This is in the shade Champagne Whiz. So here is the product. I actually just turned my sister onto these. There we go. It's really pretty. I think these have a tendency to dry out a bit. So I would definitely want to get some use on this. So pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All because of Kathleen Lights. 
The next project prompt was Movie Madness, and I chose the movie Bridget Jones Diary, and I chose it because I wanted to use this product. This is the Mally Shadow Stick in the shade Champagne, and Bridget Jones Diary starts and ends on New Year's Day, you know, or Eve, you drink a lot of champagne, or booze in general, but anyway. <laughs> That's why I chose this product and that movie. So I want to use this as an eye base. And so here is the shade, and this is how much I have left of this. So I do want to finish this. So there is the shade there. So, I mean, it's not, it's kind of lackluster of a shade in general, I think, but I just want to get this out of my collection because I don't really need products like that. Personally, I don't really use them very often. The next project prompt is a Nightmare Before Christmas. So I chose some sheet masks, you know, cause Halloween. So I chose like the seven oldest sheet masks that I had. And so it's kind of a mishmash of sheet masks. So there's two from Leaders. These are the Tundra Cranberry Anti-Aging Mask. So there's two of these. And then I have, I don't even know where I got this. Lap Cos Pearl Brightening Mask. I don't know. I have the Creme Shop Resveratrol Face Mask. I have two of these. I have a BioBell Botanic Fiber Hydrate and Vitalize with Chocolate and Acai Berry Face Mask. And then I have one from Earth Therapeutics Rejuvenating Collagen Mask. I think this may have come in some box or something. I don't know. So there's seven, I think, seven masks that I want to use up for that prompt. Nightmare Before Christmas. The next project prompt is Once Upon a Pan. I've never seen the show Once Upon a Time, I think. So I don't know that much about that show, but I chose the prompt Henry Mills, a product you can't live without. So I just went with concealer in general and I chose the Naked Skin, Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I don't even think they make this anymore, so I need to work it out of my collection. This is in the shade Light Neutral. So it is this concealer here, and I think the last time I measured my progress, I was here. So, and I think this is a good mixer for me right now. So I may try mixing this with my, I really don't want to mix it with my Giorgio Armani, but I may try mixing this with my Tarte Shape Tape. I may try mixing with that. I want to finish this. I have two project prompts where I'm going to randomly choose things out of my collection. And one of them is the next one, but I'm going to do those at the end. And it's panning games. So we'll do that one at the end. Panning solitaire is the next one. Panning solitaire was the pan that palette from last year. Basically you either chose singles or a palette and you panned one shadow as your single and then you paint a duo and then you paint a trio or you could pan them all kind of all at the same time but a quote didn't count until you finished your single and then you finished your duo and then you finished your trio so i had my anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette as my palette for painting solitaire last year and i can't let's see what it, how well did i do i think i panned my single and my duo i didn't finish my trio but for that, I'm just I'm just choosing to pan one shadow in this quad. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. So I actually had this previously and I used it, but when it came to me, it came smashed from Sephora. This particular shade here had arrived smashed and broken, so I repressed it but they sent me a brand new one and they didn't make me send the original back. So I ended up giving that one to a girlfriend. Cause I was like, I have two of them. I'll just give it to you because she didn't have it and she'd never tried it before. So now this one is untouched. <laughs> 
And that I was using this back whenever I traveled. And of course now I'm tra not traveling anymore. But I just want to pan one shadow in here. It's such a pretty palette. So let me swatch these for you. It's just, a, it's a great everyday palette. It's like when you don't have time to do your makeup, you can just throw this on. And it may look kind of like lackluster I'm telling you when you put it on your eyes it's stunning so it starts here two three four so pretty <laughs> one shadow in here <sighs> the next prompt I'm actually really excited about it's rocking around the Christmas tree this particular project he picked a product that related to a Christmas song. So I picked Last Christmas by Wham. Love that song. Wham, it's amazing. George Michael, RIP. I chose the MAC Pigment in Kitchmas. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. So here is the pigment here. You can see I panned this before. Let me give you a little bit of a swatch of this gorgeous like shiny pigment mm. I want to be able to use this 20 times in a year I figured I can do that 20 times I mean it's a mini it's a little deluxe size 20 times in a year I can do that the next project prompt is Sega data project panning and the prompt that I chose for that is cuddly koala a product with cute packaging so I finally was able to dig this out. This is my Too Faced Peach Lip Balm. Mm, it's so cute with a little peach. Mm, teeny tiny. So I've never tried this before. Mega Moisture Lip Balm. And I don't think there's a lot of product in here. Just five mils. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a decent amount, you know. So yeah, I want to use that up. But it's so cute. Mm, peachy. The next project prompt is significant other project pan. That's where somebody else picks your project items for you. Got through that. So I had my friend Valerie pick an item for me and she chose the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. So it is this one here and I have used this. I've used this. I've used up a little teeny tiny mini and I have used a little bit of this as well. So, I mean, there's plenty of product in here. I love this little sifter. And for this, I'm gonna try to finish it. I don't know if I can in a year because I don't use a ton of powder, but I'm gonna use this as, a, as my main buffing powder because I'm not really using a buffing powder, like a dedicated buffing powder right now. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to go through this. I mean, this is 10.5 grams. There's a lot of product in here. I may not be able to finish it, but I'm gonna try. And I'm gonna use it how I would normally buff product, buff my face. If it, I, that's how I've used it in the past. Now, if it doesn't end up working out for me in that capacity, then I'll use it in a different way. But I'll, I do wanna try to finish that. The next project prompt is the Skin Is In project. So for that, I chose the LMS Papaya Enzyme Peel. This is a newer item to my inventory. And I am like really missing my Drunk Elephant TLC Baby Facial. I am really tempted to go buy another bottle of it, but I'm, I'm really trying to work this and another AHA type peel out of my collection that I recently got. I'm just, oh. anyway, I need to work on this. So I want to finish this guy. <sighs> that baby facial is so good. For the four seasons, which is the next project prompt, I am choosing this for spring. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream hydrating moisturizer and you know it's blue it's like this baby blue nice kind of springy color and you know it's got clouds which you know the, I feel like in spring the clouds are all fluffy and pretty no spring so anyway I want to use this up <laughs> and 
I don't know if this is a daytime. I, I don't know that I've used this a bunch, but this feels pretty thick. I mean, I'd have to see if this is, would be a more of a daytime or nighttime moisturizer. I want to say that I've used it and I, it feels kind of watery. Yeah. I feel like this is more of a daytime moisturizer for me. So that's probably how I will end up using it. Yeah. Daytime. <laughs> the next project prompt is the unicorn project pan. And this is for like magical items in your collection. So I chose a highlighter palette. I have the Mac hyper real glow palette. So it's this one here. There are three shades here, flash and awe, rosy glow and life of the party. So this one is flash and awe, rosy glow and life of the party. And I think my goal for this was usage goal. So I wanted to use each of these 20 times. So fl flash and awe, rosy glow and life of the party. All right, so there's flash and awe, rosy glow and life of the party. So it'll be interesting to see how life of the party works on my skin. I may have to mix that with one of the other shades for it to work on my skin tone. But yeah. So 20 times each. So pretty. Blingy. The next pr project prompt was Winnie the Pooh and no, Winnie the Pan is the name of the project. And I chose the prompt Pooh. And for that, I chose the Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. And it has this little thing here. I actually use this today, and that's why this little thing is dirty. <laughs> but I freaking love this mask. It I, Because I, I had that sitting on like its side, like it was sitting in this bin, and it wasn't sitting like a pro, like sitting right. So I need to let this settle so I can mark where I am. But I love this mask so much. Mm. And I have a backup of this, so I need to work this one out of my collection. But yeah, I want to finish this. Love it. So good. The next prompt is Wizard of Panning. And for that particular prompt, this is all about the Wizard of Oz. And the prompt I chose was Toto something you love and you know, I chose a lot of prompts that were like something you love and for that I chose the bite beauty high pigment no matte creme lip crayon and pastille Ooh, this is a good one this is a good one mm, so pretty and I'm gonna finish this. There's not much left in here, so I want to finish this one. Yeah, finish it. Okay, so one of the other prompts is turn and burn. So we're going to pick where how I usually do my turn and burn project is we're gonna to go to Wheel of Names and we're going to pick a deluxe size sample from my deluxe size sample Wheel of Names thing. <laughs> So let me pull up Will Names. So I've gotten some things recently that I have not updated you guys on yet because I haven't edited the video yet. <laughs> but I went ahead and added them to this list to make it fair. So let me go ahead and make this full size. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. I'm already using... Oh, I'm already using this in another project. So it's the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. I'm using that product in a full size of it and I'm trying to finish it. So no, it's gonna take me all year to finish that. So let me go ahead and select another one. Oh, Bath and Body Works Shower Gel in Warm Vanilla Sugar. Okay, well I'll grab that here in a sec. Our other project prompt was panning games and 
I, you can do with this whatever you wanted. The original concept of this project was you put a bunch of items in like a bag or a box or you could do this randomly on an app or something and then you'd pull out like the number of tributes. I think there were 24 because there's 12 districts. I hope, I hope, I hope that's right. I think that's right. I even read the book and everything. The books. But for this particular project, you just pick one. So I thought about doing a blush but I was like well I'm not gonna be able to finish a blush I could do a highlighter although I have that highlighting palette I could just do like whole collection roulette which I thought about doing or maybe I'll just do like a lip product roulette and try to finish it I think I'm gonna do that hmm okay so let's find out which lippy I'm going to pan for the year. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Oh, <laughs> wow. Pat McGrath lipstick and Venus and Furs. <laughs> okay. Let me pull that and let me go pull the Bath and Body, Body Works shower gel and I'll be right back. Okay. So, first up, the Bath and Body Works shower gel. This is warm vanilla sugar. And the, oh, this doesn't have scent notes on it. Cause it's a mini, they don't have scent notes. You know, it's just warm vanilla sugar. It smells really good. It'll be a good one for the fall winter. Mm -hmm. And I think I have a body cream that goes with it. So yay, love that. So that is for my turn and burn project. And then this is for panning games. So this is the Pat McGrath lipstick in Venus and Furs. And this is brand spanking new. Like, I mean, I have not, I maybe have swatched this. This is the Matte Trance. Yeah, so it's gonna take me a long time to use this up. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Yay. <laughs> Yay. The roulette gods are looking out for me. <sighs> okay. So that is probably a ridiculously long intro. I'm so sorry. It's probably going to take me a while to edit too. So that is my intro for the Throwback 30 project. I am so excited for this project. What are you guys doing? Do you guys have all your products picked out and are you super excited? Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Marley is talking to me. Ziggy, Ziggy. Ziggy. Hi, Marley. Come here. You keep crying. Hey. Oh. Why are you crying? Huh? Why are you crying? <laughs> no. I need a haircut. So bad. Is anybody else super excited about the Olympics? I love them so much. Love them. I've been staying up too late watching them. Too late. And this project was created by Jessica in the Fantastic Ladies. No, I don't want to do it that way. The premise for this project is Jessica wanted to bring back a bunch of older projects that were created in the Fantastic Lady. And the way this project worked, work. I have my iPad, iPad, I have my iPad. The next product, no. This next project is, this next, um, J Cat Beauty, right? Prismetal Chrome Eye Chrome Eyeshadow Mousse. It's a, it's a chrome eyeshadow. No, 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 no.
the next project pro project thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you're doing bye